Hey, what's up, folks? This is Miguel from Spotter Home Madrid, and well, I came to this really nice three bedroom apartment located in Calle Cruz, uh, de la Cruz Verde. This is in the neighborhood of Malasaña, and guys, this is one of the trendiest neighborhoods of the city. And this apartment is also very trendy because it's, uh, it has this vintage decoration. Every single item in here is vintage and it looks all well together. And well, of course, I, I want to show you around, but so like I said, uh, Malasaña is one of the trendiest neighborhoods of, neighborhoods of the city. And well, you have two close metro stations. You have Noviciado at about two minutes, and Plaza España it's at about four. All right, but basically from here to anywhere in the let's say main, main center of Madrid, you can walk because again, it's part of the main center. If you want to get from here to let's say Gran Vía or Callao, it's gonna take you less than 10 minutes, 15 minute stops. All right, and well, the area is filled up with bars, restaurants, ATMs, uh, supermarkets, drugstores, I mean, you name it. It's super convenient, and well, the apartment is on a fourth floor, uh, therefore, even though it's interior, we get a lot of natural light because we are the last, uh, we are the last floor of the building. And well, let's check it out. All right, so that's the front door. All right, and let me move here so I can give you a quick, a quick overview. So a few things I gotta say. Uh, just one of the bedroom is down here, and the other two are upstairs. All right, and here's the staircase to go on, to go to number one, to bedroom number one, and then through that door we go to the other bedroom, to bedroom number two. All right, and well, you will see that you actually need some time of you know, it's not it's easy, but it's a little bit complicated to go up and down all the time, so you just gotta be careful. All right. And well, aside from that, the apartment is beautiful, like I said, just take a look at all the vintage uh, items, they look really nice all together, and well, on this corner we have a nice dining table with three chairs, there's a window in here from the interior patio, as you can see, uh, it brights up the whole entrance hall pretty much, alright, here's the bathroom, and well, this is the kitchen and living room area, as you can see. And well, even look at the washing machine, it's so in touch. It has this, um, you know, this effect on it. It looks pretty cool. So the kitchen still is fully equipped, even though it's vintage. Here's the washing machine. You have two fridges, one in here and another one there. Here's the induction stove, which is pretty good. That's not vintage, so that's important that it's gonna, you know, uh, work well. Uh, there's an espresso machine. Here's the microwave oven, here's the sink, and then, well, this furniture right here is basically where all the kitchen stuff is. So you have some of the cups in there, and here you have more glasses. Look at this beautiful furniture, guys. It's pretty nice. All right, and let's see what else we got here. So in there we have a blender, a couple of the big spoons. These are just books, but in here we have the silverware, all the forks, knives, spoons, and all that. And down here we have some pots and pans. Let me move so you can see better. And then, well, in here we have a coffee maker, the iron machine, even a kettle. And then in here we have the plates. All right, so it's fully equipped. Look at this beautiful bench. I just noticed it. It's pretty nice. All right, and well, aside from the kitchen, of course, like I said, you have the living room area in here, and there's a pretty nice couch in there that, again, goes along with the rest of the decoration. There's a nice chair as well. Here's another window to the interior patio, so the whole apartment is pretty bright, as you can see. There's a TV on that wall which is perfect to just, you know, sit down on the, on the sofa and watch TV. There's an AC unit in here that works for both heating and cooling, so it should be enough for the whole place. All right, and well, before I go into the bedrooms, here's one of the standalone closet units, because uh, actually the other, the bedrooms don't have any. So here's one, it's up out here in the living room, and as you can see, you have a rail there for the hangers, that's just my stuff, but of course there are actually a couple of towels that are gonna remain in here. And there's the drawing, uh, drawer down below, so 
you have plenty of storage space just in here and also right here on top alright well look at the wallpaper on the ceiling pretty nice there's a window in there I'm gonna go up there in a minute alright so here's another view of the living room alright and well now I'm gonna well before I go upstairs let me show you the bathroom which is a pretty good sized bathroom if you compare it to the rest of the apartment I mean it's, it's it has a good size as you can see and well it has two showers which is a really nice detail and look at this beautiful tiling right here it goes throughout the whole shower and then you even have this toilet that you actually gotta pull this up to flush it and then the sink is right here a cool mirror a couple of hooks in there All right. So now let's go upstairs. So through these stairs we go to bedroom number one. Again, you just gotta be careful because it's not that easy to come up. All right, and well, the bedroom itself is basically just a double bed. As you can see, there's not, uh, there, there's not uh, enough space for anything else. So it's just a double bed. And then this little briefcase, which is pretty nice. Well, this really cool lamp and well that's pretty much it alright so well you have enough space in there of course to lay down you just gotta be careful careful with your feet but you should be all good and well from up here you get to see these wood uh, pieces that you know also is part of the decoration alright now let's go to bedroom number two like I said is this door right here so Bedroom number two, it does have this kind of built-in closet unit before you actually go up. And in here you have a hanger, I mean a rail here for the hangers as you can see. There's this set of drawers. And then behind the curtain you also have another rail there for the hangers. This one right here. And then well, here's all the cleaning stuff, but of course you can move it around. Alright, there's even a rack there to dry your clothes. Alright, so it's kind of like a built-in closet unit pretty much because you have a set of drawers and a rail here, uh, and a rail in here for the hanger, so should be all good. Alright, and then well again just gotta be careful going up in here as well. And bedroom number two is a little bit bigger than bedroom one, but still is basically just a double bed. In here there's a heating unit, which is pretty nice, it's just a small unit in there. And there's as well a uh, luggage in there, a mirror, and then that's the window that go to the uh, living room. So you can see from up here, you know, whatever is happening down there. And there's a window that go uh, basically to the sky, so some light comes from there, and also from this side. All right. And the cool thing about this bedroom is that it has this door right here, so you know you can just shut it down or pull it up. It's pretty nice. Again, the whole theme is vintage and this bedroom and the other ones are also vintage. So I think, like I said, everything plays along really nicely. And well, it's just part of the charm of the apartment. All right, and well, last but not least, I'll show you bedroom three, which is the only normal bedroom in this apartment. And it's this one right here. And it's basically just a single bed. A little, well, that's not even a desk, it's just a small table with a really cool lamp, a nice vintage chair as well. It has a window to the interior patio, but again, it's almost as exterior, so you have, you know, it's a pretty bright bedroom. Up here, you also have a shelf there and a rail there for the hanger, so you can put your clothes in there, and then those bookshelves in there. And then these other furniture with basically more shelves so you also have a storage space on this bathroom all right so and then well this cool, cool mirror here's another view of bedroom three all right and well that will be it guys again you just saw this is a really nice three bedroom apartment located in Calle de la Cruz Verde you just saw it I mean the decoration is really nice uh, it's very vintage Again, the location is very trendy, so 
I think this apartment is perfect for either students or young professionals that might want to live in a place like this. Just keeping you know into consideration that uh, bedrooms one and two are a little bit hard to access, but it shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, all right. So well, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.